This week on StarCap, the Donnelly saga continues. Roshane Barnett pleads guilty. St. Anne bus crash death toll increases. Top boy in Jamaica. Some fest returns. And in the Dear Pastor review, I want this man's cash, not a wedding ring. Star fam, I'm Chanel and welcome to another week of StarCap, a recap of the big stories that lit your attention this week. The search for missing social media star Donnelly Donaldson has reached new heights. With the arrest of her policeman boyfriend Noel Maitland and the unfortunate hospitalization of her mother, Sophia Lugg, there is no shortage of twists and turns. The 24-year-old was last seen on July 11 when she left home for Maitland's Kingston apartment. With protests for the starlet reaching as far as Times Square in New York City, there is one question on everyone's mind. Where is Donnelly? Claire non quintuple murderer Roshane Barnett has pleaded guilty to the massacre of his five relatives. The victims, a mother and her four children, were found in their home with their throats slashed on June 21. Barnett will find out his sentence on September 22. The death toll in the two-bus collision in St. Anne has increased to four. This comes as two of the four patients who were in critical condition succumbed to their injuries. The fatal crash happened on Sunday morning on the Landovery Main Road in Runaway Bay, when a 30-seater Toyota Costa collided with a 15-seater Toyota Hiace, leaving 20 persons injured. In lighter news, top boy actor Michael Ward is visiting his native home Jamaica after 20 years. Ward, who is originally from Job's Lane in Spanish Town, migrated to the UK when he was just four years old. Now, during this, his first trip back to the island since migrating, he has experienced the finest Jamaica has to offer. And by that, I mean some fest and a real Spanish town street dance. To see his full interview and how his trip's been going so far, hop on over to Lena's YouTube page and tune in to Lifestyle Today with Deborah Edwards. Speaking of some fest, the greatest reggae show on earth returned last week with quite a bang. We literally don't have enough time to break down all the crazy things that happened, so let's give you the bullet points. Spice was finally crowned queen of the dance hall. Bounty and Beanie may or may not be feuding, it's, it's unclear. And Aishana is choosing violence. Listen, including the prime minister and the health minister did bad enough in an issue. But why you have to do all lads, sir? In Dear Pastor this week, I want this man's cash, not a wedding ring. This 40-year-old reader is trying to find a way to keep getting money from her 70-year-old American sugar daddy without having to marry him. She told Pastor her heart is with her Rastaman boyfriend who is in Jamaica. But she needs to keep getting the white man money so she can open up a bar for the rest. Must be nice to be refusing marriage offers from rich men. Nice indeed. That's it for this week's Star Cap. Remember to follow us on Facebook and Instagram at The Jamaica Star and on Twitter at Jamaica Star. I'm Chanel. Until next week, keep reading the star, the people people.